Friday to you. It is July 30th, and time for this week's Friday Funnies. Let's start out with the bullet points. Bullet point number one. Oprah's ratings reached an all-time low this week. In fact, she is 20% down from what her ratings were last year at this time. That must be the reason that President Obama chose to go on The View instead. <laughs> bullet point number two. From her room without a view, Lindsay Lohan has her hairdresser on 24-hour call so that when she is released, she can look good before she walks out the door. The jail authorities have issued a statement that says when Miss Lohan is released, and I quote, we'll leave the light on for her. End quote. And bullet point number three, the oddest story this week belongs once again to Mel Gibson, who is now seeking advice from Britney Spears. I'm not making this up. Mr. Pot, meet Mrs. Kettle. <laughs> and now it's time to stir the news pot and see what boils to the surface. All right, here, I'm a big proponent, you should know this, I'm a big proponent of the Second Amendment, but even I think that there are places where guns are inappropriate. For instance, as props in your wedding photo. Over in Sicily, Valencia and Nitra and Ignazio Licodia, they got married. And their photographer, their wedding photographer, had an idea. He wanted to pose the happy couple holding guns. It's apparently a Sicilian thing. So he asked the guests at the party, does anybody have any guns? And all the guys reached into their coats and pulled out their pieces. And so they had the props for the wedding. And as the happy couple was holding the guns for the picture, one of them went off and, and killed the photographer. Sorry, this is not funny. It's more ironic in a Sicilian sort of way. And it's the reason why the only weapon that should ever be used in a wedding photo is the knife used to cut the cake. Let's move on down to St. Petersburg, Florida, where a 30-year-old woman suffered a case of road rage this week. She was sitting in traffic. She got really flustered, so she did what any other rational thinking woman would do. She got out of her car, jumped on another driver's car, and flashed him. She, she took off her top and shook her breasts at him through the windshield. Ooh, that'll teach him. In the words of Br'er Rabbit, oh, please don't throw me in a briar patch. Well, needless to say, she tied up traffic and police came, so she ran away and she was running through traffic where all of the drivers had now rolled down their windows and were waving dollar bills at her. <laughs> all right, this next part is not a joke. Dennis Hawkins robbed a bank in Swissvale, Pennsylvania. At the time of the robbery, he was wearing a woman's blonde wig a pair of clown pants, and to sweater over some fake breasts. You know, I, I'm not a bank... Oh, he also had a BB gun he stole from the store. But anyway, I'm not a bank robber, but I think the purpose of a disguise is to conceal your identity, not, not enhance it. Anyhow, uh, De uh, Dennis was uh, arrested a short time later because he was easily identifiable. They found him sitting in a transvestite clown bar. Okay, that part I made up. But when you think of a cl transvestite clown bar, you start thinking of what would be a good name. I'd go with Clarabelle. Okay, one more story. Deborah Weist. Weist, that's her last name, as in the Weist is yet to come. Anyhow, Deborah Weist was cited for harassment after her son called the police to report that his mother had cleaned the entire bathroom using his toothbrush. Apparently, she was trying to teach him some sort of a lesson, uh, obviously not one in personal hygiene. But anyhow, I don't think the police should have been called for this. This is a family situation. It should have been settled with the son doing two things. Number one, buy a new toothbrush. And number two, use moms to brush the dog. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Uh, by the way, there will be no Friday Funnies next week. We will be on the road uh, bringing merriment to the masses. So no Friday Funnies next week, but we'll be back on the 13th of August. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend.